Success. The definition. This is very interesting. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you're going to miss it. Success. For success like happiness cannot be pursued, it must ensue. And it does only so as the unintended side effect of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself. I'm going to read that again. Make sure you get this. I know you've got it in your book on page 172. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you're going to miss it. For success like happiness cannot be pursued, it must ensue. And it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself. The minute we quit trying to win football games. In 1981, we actually uh, developed this curriculum in order to win football games. We had not been in the playoffs. We wanted to be in the playoffs. And we felt like the reason we weren't was because of the character qualities we didn't possess. So we developed a mental training program, we called it, which eventually became a character curriculum. And so we started doing it, but we did it to win football games. The thing that's so interesting to me, and, and I've said it a thousand times, the minute we quit trying to win football games and trying to make better people out of the players we coached, we won more football games than we ever thought possible. You see, we quit trying to win football games. Success to us was winning football games. And six, winning football games became a byproduct of having better people. And the minute you make people better people, you have a much better chance of winning football games. The success quote, this is one of the, my favorite things that I've ever read. And when Washington was at Valley Forge and was starving to death in 1776 in the Revolutionary War, he wrote to the Congress of the United States and he says, uh, we need food, we need shoes, we need clothing. Can you send us money? And the Congress, maybe the first booster club ever formed, sent a letter back and they said, if you guarantee us you're going to win, we'll send you money. And Washington wrote back and he said, I can guarantee you something better than success. Greatest quote uh, I still remember. I can guarantee you something greater than success. I will guarantee you that we are going to deserve success. What, what does it say? <laughs> I mean, it couldn't say anything better than that. I'm going to guarantee you that we deserve success. That means that we are going to do so much work and so much training. And they hired a German uh, boot camp instructor to come in and, and drill their men. And they came in and he drilled these guys without shoes, without clothes, starving to death. We're going to work so hard that we are going to deserve success. I can guarantee you something better than success. We will deserve success. Two major points there. Number one, success comes when you quit trying to be successful and you make it a byproduct. In other words, winning football games became a byproduct of having better people. If you work and you take this curriculum and you use it to make the players better people, you'll win more football games you ever thought about. And you're not even trying to win football games. You're trying to make them better people because you're developing relationships. You're doing things that make them better people. Number two, success is not as important as deserving success. If I do everything I can to deserve success, I've done everything I can. We lost a football game 22 to 18 one time in the semifinals and we walked off the field and I was listening to a reporter talking to one of my players and he said, you don't seem very sad. He said, I don't have any apologies. I did everything I could to win this football game. That scoreboard will never tell me if I'm a winner or a loser. 
there's not one play that I didn't give everything I had. So what was he saying? I didn't have success, but I deserved it. And that's all you can ever ask is deserve success.